Okay guys, so I've made this little Google Docs for you guys, and if you want to download this, I will put the link in the description of this video. This thing is literally jam-packed with like valuable information that will help you get started getting feedback on your app idea. I've written out the step-by-steps and even included some challenges for you so that you can complete them and be on your way to making your app successful. All right, here we go. So the first thing you want to do is ask yourself these questions. They're super simple. Who is my target audience? So if you have an app idea, you need to figure out who your future users or customers are going to be. Are they male? Are they female? Are they kids? Are they adults? How old are they? Um, how much money do they make? Like all of these different questions need to be thought out so you can figure out <laughs> the persona of someone that is in your target audience. So for example, for Tapley, we know that the majority of our target audience is female between the age of 21 and 35 and also someone who is actively talking about mental health on social media. Those people are the ones that are likely to download Tapley. So once you figure out who your target audience is, you know, another question you can ask yourself is where do they hang out? For example, people talking about mental health, it's like a huge thing on Instagram right now. People are starting to open up and talk about their mental health problems. So of course, all of these, all of, um, my target audience for my mental health app, Tapley, is on Instagram, which I'm on Instagram also, so that makes it very convenient for me. I like Instagram because it's super simple to really, like, target the person that you need to talk to to get feedback about your specific idea. All right, let's get on to the plan of action right here. So the first thing you want to do is you need to learn how to describe your idea in one little short sentence. This is important because most people do not have a very long attention span and if you send them 10 paragraphs about your app idea they're probably not going to read it or at least all of it and they might not respond. That's what we've learned um, from Tapley. You got to keep it short and this is also you can use this sentence on your future landing page too so it's something that you really need to think about. So for example our short sentence describing Tapley is improve your mental health with Tapley. That's short, it describes the app, and it describes the benefit of the app also. So that's what you want to do. So the first challenge here is to go ahead and brainstorm three sentences that describe your app and describe the benefits of your app. The beauty of this is that you don't really have to go into depth about what your app is or the features. All you have to do is think of one benefit that your app has and how it will benefit your future users or customers. So honestly, coming up with these short sentences is not an easy task, um, but go ahead and brainstorm three of them so that you have some to choose from and you can kind of experiment with them later on down the road. All right, the next thing you want to do is find your target audience on Instagram. You need to figure out where they're hanging out. So I think the easiest way to do this is to find your target audience on social media. Social media um, or contacting people on social media is 10 times easier than trying to contact someone in person. Um, you can reach a lot more people through social media than you can talking. It's like door-to-door -door salesman versus running a Facebook ad. Like Facebook ads are always going to win, you know. Um, so a way you can find your target audience on Instagram is using hashtags. The beauty of Instagram is that they will take every post that uses one specific hashtag and put them all in one place. So you can really see everyone who's talking about a specific hashtag or a specific topic. So the next challenge, after you've completed challenge one, go ahead and brainstorm three topics that your target audience is talking about. For example, um, with our mental health app Tapley, it's super easy because our target audience is talking about their mental health, anxiety, depression, mental illness. They're spreading awareness about all of these things using Instagram. So it's, so that's how we know that this person might, you know, find some use or benefit from using Tapley. So you need to find three topics that your target audience would be talking about. For example, the example I use in this document is a, an app that makes books more accessible, right? So you want to brainstorm three topics. So an example topic for that book app would be someone who's talking about how they really like to read. 
That's someone who might download an app that would make books or reading books more accessible. So that's an example topic. So you need to find three topics um, that your target audience would talk about. So after you do that, then you can figure out the relevant hashtags that go along with that topic. So like I said for the book app, um, a relevant hashtag would be bookstagram. And if you go look at that hashtag, you can see that people are posting their books on there and what books they like, and they're talking about books on there. So if you're making an app that makes books more accessible, you want to be talking to the people that are also talking about how they like books and how they want to read books. So this would be, you know, an example of a hashtag that would go along with the topic of books. So the next challenge is to find three hashtags because you're going to use these hashtags later on in other challenges. All right, the last thing you need to do is contact <laughs> your target audience. This is the most scary. Uh, this is the most scariest part, but also the most necessary. So my advice is to one, go to your one of your relevant hashtags and then switch over to the recent post. You don't want to go on the top post because those people are most likely influencers with um, tens of thousands of followers and so they're less likely to see your DM. So you want to focus on people with less than a thousand followers so that your DM will be, you know, very apparent. Make sure that they're talking about one of the topics that's related to your app. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is actually send them a direct message on Instagram, a DM. But don't worry, I've given you this template here so that you literally takes all the guesswork out of it. You're going to know exactly what you want to say to this person. So the first sentence is going to be one thing that you really liked about their post. So you always want to start off with kind of giving them something before you ask for something. That's kind of my mentality about this. But... Um, so you can pick out one thing uh, that you like about their post. The second sentence in the DM is going to be a transition sentence from, from you talking about them to you talking about your app idea. So you definitely need like a little transition sentence in there to kind of make the message natural. The third sentence is going to be a very short sentence, the sentence that you wrote in the very first challenge about the benefits of your app. And also at the end of it, you want to have a call to action. What I've noticed when I get DMs, which I really like getting DMs from businesses because I like to see their structure of DMs and how effective like it works on me. What I've noticed uh, is one thing that I will not respond to is when someone uh, talks to me through DM, but I don't know exactly what they want. I know they want something, but I don't know exactly what they want. So that's why this call to action is so important because you need to tell the user exactly what you want out of them. Do you want feedback? Do you want them to sign up for your email list? All of these things, you need to tell them exactly what you want them to do. Otherwise, they're gonna be confused and most likely not respond to your message because they don't really know, they don't know you and they don't know what you want from them. So here's an example uh, for this book app idea I keep talking about here. So the first sentence would be, I really love that book you're reading. So let's say that this is a post from someone who has posted something about a book that they're reading. So you could say, I really love that book you're reading. The second sentence would be, I also love reading and I wanna make it more accessible for everyone. So this is that transition sentence um, where you're talking about, you're talking about them in the first sentence, but then the second sentence you want to transition into talking about your app. So this is the perfect sentence to, to basically talk about how you want to make books more accessible for everyone. And then your third sentence is going to be what your app is about. I'm making an app to share free books and I was wondering if, if I can get your feedback about my idea so that I can make the app extremely helpful for book lovers like yourself. So you always want to try and tie it back to the person that you're talking to or relate to them in any way while also being specific about what you want from them. Now this specific DM template will, you will get some responses, especially if you DM multiple people. Now if you DM one person, 
I can't tell you if they're going to respond or not. It's definitely not a 100% conversion rate, but if you DM 10 people, most likely at least one of them will respond. So it's kind of a numbers game when it comes to DMing um, and asking people for feedback because a lot of people just aren't comfortable talking to someone that they don't know. Um, but then there also is the personality type that wants to help others. So those people would are honestly very happy to help you and get feedback. And so the beauty of this third sentence here is that it really helps open up the conversation um, between you and your target audience. Um, and if they respond, you have the opportunity to literally ask them to sign up for your email list, tell them more about your app idea, your features, or even ask them what features that they would like to see and what would make their life easier. So this is something you wanna do before you start coding your app. Um, and it's a really good way to figure out, one, if your app idea is you know, needed enough, and two, what people actually want, and to really further specify the problem that you want to solve by getting people's opinions on it. So the last challenge is to DM 10 people using this template. If you target your audience uh, well enough, then someone will respond. Trust me, <laughs> um, Mark and I are pretty experienced at this DM game, so and it's really helped us grow Tappily. So this document will be available in the description. I'm telling you, this is so valuable. And I really challenge you to do this before you start developing your idea. It will really help you in the long run and save you so much time. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If you like the video, give this a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn that notification bell on so that you never miss a video from either me or Mark sharing some awesome, valuable information. See you next time.